Hey guys, today we're talking about the Edgeworth box. This is part three of the series of the Edgeworth box, and today I'm talking about adding prices, talking about the first welfare theorem. This is from a question by a user, NGGN, asking about when a Pareto optimal or a barter equilibrium is, and it is not a Walrasian or a competitive equilibrium, so that's what we're gonna talk about. And so basically the big idea behind this video and the next couple of videos on the Edgeworth box, we're talking about the relationship between a competitive equilibrium and a barter equilibrium. Another word for barter equilibrium is just a Pareto optimal outcome. And so we're thinking about when one implies the other. And so that's what we're gonna talk about in this video specifically. We're gonna talk about when a competitive equilibrium or a Walrasian equilibrium implies Pareto optimality or barter equilibrium. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick review of the Edgeworth box. If you've seen this before, or you just wanna jump around, the timestamps are below if you wanna to jump to the next section. But basically you remember with an Edgeworth box, we've got two people, Bill and Aaron, they're trading with each other, where they're trading two goods. And so each person has an indifference curve through the endowment W, so this is W right here. And of course we have a contract curve which lays out all the Pareto optimal allocations for these two goods for these two people. Again, if you want a full review of the Edgeworth box, part one is gonna appear in the upper right corner. You can also find it on my channel at the link below. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, well, the Pareto optimal allocation is gonna be in the core because both Aaron and Bill have to be at least as well off as they were before when they entered the trade. And of course, in the core, both people are actually better off, so those are Pareto improvements. When we can no longer make any Pareto improvements, that must mean we're at Pareto optimal point. So suppose that the Pareto optimal allocation is right here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna start with. And so now if we turn this into the question we're asking about competitive equilibrium and Pareto optimality, what we're basically asking is if this Pareto optimal allocation can be supported as a competitive equilibrium. And so basically what this boils down to is can we find prices, can we find some market prices such that we get this Pareto optimal allocation, but rather than doing it through a social planner problem, we do it through Bill and Aaron separately and privately maximizing their utility. And so the crux of how this is gonna work is we're basically going to need to add prices to this Edgeworth box. And so we're gonna to need to add a budget constraint. Maybe the budget constraint looks something like this. The budget constraint is gonna be the same for both Bill and Aaron because Bill and Aaron face the same prices. So it's gonna go through their endowment because both Bill and Aaron need to be able to afford their endowment, but there's only gonna be one budget constraint on the Edgeworth box again, because both people face the same prices. And the explicit economic concept we're talking about right now with the fact that a competitive equilibrium is Pareto optimal is the first fundamental welfare theorem or the first fundamental theorem of welfare economics or the FWT. Basically what the FWT says is that people are price takers, you're in a perfect competition market, there's no externalities. We've got a couple other assumptions, but those are the three big ones. If those assumptions hold, then any competitive equilibrium is gonna be Pareto optimal. So you might have seen this in another class with supply and demand. This is with an Edgeworth box, but we're talking about the same thing. Okay, so let's do an intuitive example. So let's say that we've got Bill and Aaron and we're trading pens and Bill currently has all the red pens and Aaron currently has all the blue pens. Both of them have the same utility function, which is just utility is red times blue. So we know that both Bill and Aaron like a mixture of red and blue pens. They have convex and monotonic preferences. And so one thing that you might see if we think about an Edgeworth box is that one Pareto optimal allocation is that Bill and Aaron get three of each pen, right? They each get three red and three blue pens. And so what we're asking is, is this allocation possible under a competitive equilibrium setting when we're not solving the social planner problem? And so again, can we find prices such that we get this equilibrium? The answer is gonna be yes, let's look at how we do that. So again, here's our Edgeworth box. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a budget constraint and I know that it needs to go through the endowment and through the Pareto optimal allocation. Well, the slope between those two points is exactly negative one because this is zero six and this is six zero and this is three three. Those all lie on the line with the slope of negative one. And so what that's gonna mean is that the price of red pens has to be equal to the price of blue pens and then we can get this Pareto optimal allocation. That's what's gonna fall out of the utility maximization problem for both Bill and Aaron and we're gonna be able to support this Pareto optimal allocation as a competitive equilibrium. So because the first fundamental welfare theorem holds, we know that the competitive equilibrium is gonna be Pareto optimal. And so the way we found it is sort of working backwards and saying, okay, this is the Pareto optimal allocation we want. What do the prices have to be such that we can get this to come out as a competitive equilibrium? Now we did this graphically. Of course, you can do it algebraically. We can get into the math if you want. I'm not sure how much demand there's gonna be, so if you wanna see the math as a separate video, please go ahead and like this video. Please give a comment below letting me know you wanna see that math. Well, we're gonna do the math. 
if I have sufficient demand. Okay, but basically what you can imagine is what you do. First, you find the Pareto set, you solve the social planner problem, we've talked about that before. You're gonna pick the Pareto optimal allocation you wanna support as a competitive equilibrium. You say, this is what I want the allocation to be, and you try and back out basically what the prices would have to be in order to get that competitive equilibrium. And basically, if you can find prices, then you know it can be supported as a competitive equilibrium. And then you just set up the utility maximization problem doing that, and you'll be good to go. There's a second welfare theorem. I'm gonna get into that in the next video. It's gonna get a little more complicated, but if this video or these videos in general are helping you out, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time for another case of econ struggles.